all of these things that Craig and his his group provides, they're, they're tools. Whether it's the environment, whether it's the sound system, whether it's the audio, visual, lighting, that sort of stuff, all these are is tools to help us get that message out. When we first got here, we moved over here and Greg and his team actually helped us with all of the audio visual that we needed at that point in our, in our church history. And we eventually just started growing from there. And, and we eventually had two services here, three services here, four services here. Well, we got to the point where we just couldn't meet in this room any longer. We moved around the corner to our school location. How do you take this cold gym that's used by junior hires and elementary students all throughout the week, how do you take that and turn it into something that feels like a worshipful environment? And that's what we tasked Greg and his team to do. Our goal wasn't to turn it into a cathedral, but our goal was to at least create an intimacy in that environment that took away the distraction of, I know that I'm just in sort of this big, empty shell. Greg and his team had to think creatively. How do we get to that place where we can take something this cold, and this big, and that absolutely doesn't feel worshipful at all, and we can create something so when people walk in, they can legitimately feel like, man, I've, I've gone to church. I've not just gone to church, I heard worship and I heard preaching. I feel like I'm in a church. And I think Greg and his team helped us design the kind of audio system, visual system, that truthfully, you don't get comments about other than hearing things like, it's so great to hear people sing, but they don't know enough to understand what's had to happen technologically for that to be pulled off. Having that in place just gave me the comfort level to know as a senior pastor, I can stand up in front of people, I can proclaim the word of God, I can lead them, I can talk to them about, well, we can sing, we can do all that stuff, and they may never recognize it, but it's only that way because we invested the time and money necessary to get it there. And that was worth, I'll just tell you, every penny we paid. So in 2016, uh, we realized we were out of space again. So we decided what we would do is we would go to two services at each location. He'd preach here and have to leave right away, He'd preach there and leave right away. He got zero time to interact with people after service, to how do people pray with people. And so what we found is linking the two campuses with a live stream and having him preach at one location live and the other location watching him has greatly helped. Now we're able with both locations to have two service times that are very friendly to where people would want to go to church naturally. With the technology, we're able to do that at either location. So one week he might be here in this room preaching, and the next week he might be at our other location preaching there, and they're watching on the screen in this room. It's given us a, a great growth opportunity to, to invite friends and family to church, and given uh, our lead pastor, Chris, just a time where he can actually interact with people after service now, and not have to run back and forth with crazy. We have followed the same track that we've done um, for the last 10 years, is we, we wanna do it very well, and, and Greg and his team has helped us do that every single installation we have. And as you're watching it on screen, you forget you're watching it. You're in tune with what he's saying and you're hearing the word of God being preached. And at the end of the day, that's what we want. We did this so that there'd be more room for more people to come into these seats uh, to hear the gospel being preached. That's worth us as a church saying, you know, we want to do that to remove the barrier to help people hear. That's the truth about Jesus Christ.